In the heart of medieval Germany, a captivating tale of hubris, desire and cosmic bargains emerged from the depths of folklore. A tale known as Faust. The origins of the Faust legend are shrouded in mystery and have evolved over time. The earliest mentions of Faust appear in pamphlets and chapbooks dating back to the late 16th century. These stories describe Faust as an itinerant scholar, alchemist, astrologer, and magician who claimed to possess supernatural powers and knowledge. According to the folklore, Faust was said to have made a pact with the devil, exchanging his soul for boundless knowledge, power, and pleasures during his earthly life. However, as with many legends, the historical accuracy of these accounts remains a subject of debate. The earliest known published work about Faust is the Historia von D. Johann Fausten, which appeared around 1587. It is an anonymous chapbook that narrates Faust's encounters with the devil, his magical feats and his eventual damnation. This work is considered the foundational text of the Faust legend. Over time, various authors expanded and adapted the Faust story, leading to multiple versions and interpretations. The most famous adaptation is Johann Wolfgang von Goethe's Faust. Goethe's magnum opus Faust is divided into two parts, published in 1808 and 1832 respectively. Through this monumental work, the playwright not only breathed life into the ancient legend, but also infused it with profound philosophical and existential explorations. At the heart of Faust lies the faust Mephistopheles dynamic, the pact between the scholar and the devil. As the drama unfolds, Faust, burdened with limitations of human knowledge, is driven by an insatiable thirst for deeper wisdom and unbridled pleasure. It is this longing that beckons the enigmatic Mephistopheles, a demonic figure, to step forth and offer Faust the fulfillment he so ardently desires. In part one, Faust utters the words that signal the commencement of their fateful agreement. That which I possess, I see as nothing, and I yearn for infinite space. With these words, Faust in his pursuit of infinite knowledge and experience, willingly surrenders his soul to Mephistopheles for a limited time of earthly pleasures. Their pact, encapsulated in Mephistopheles' chillingly seductive words, become a sinister bargain. I am the spirit who denies, and rightly so, for all that comes into being deserves to be destroyed. The nature of this sinister pact explores the underlying human desire to transcend the mundane and embrace the extraordinary, even if it leads to moral compromise. Faust's tumultuous journey becomes a reflection of the human condition itself, the eternal struggle between the desire for enlightenment and the allure of temptation. As part two of Faust unfolds, Goethe, delves deeper into the intricacies of the human experience and the cosmic dimensions of the faust Mephistopheles pact. Faust's ambitions expand beyond mere personal gain, as he seeks to bring about societal transformation and unleash the forces of progress and enlightenment. The play reaches its climatic pinnacle when Faust encounters the symbolic figure of Euphorion, the personification of his youthful aspirations. In a moment of poetic tragedy, Euphorion soars to great heights, but ultimately perishes. A poignant reminder of the dangers of unbridled ambition without regard for consequence. Faust's journey culminates in his longing for a moment of blissful stasis, an instant so enchanting that he wishes for time to stand still. In this moment, he utters, Stay. You are so beautiful. However, Mephistopheles intervenes to ensure the fulfillment of their pact, reminding Faust of their agreement. A reminder that mortality and temporality are inescapable realities. Goethe's Faust was no ordinary wanderer, but a complex figure. A disillusioned scholar seeking fulfillment and meaning beyond the boundaries of conventional wisdom. 
Mephistopheles, the devilish interlocutor, entices Faust with tantalizing promises, setting in motion a transformative journey of self-discovery. In psychological terms, Faust can be understood as a manifestation of the human ego, the conscious self that seeks self-actualization, knowledge and fulfillment. His insatiable thirst for knowledge and desire for worldly pleasures represent the universal human quest for meaning and personal growth. Faust's willingness to enter into a pact with Mephistopheles mirrors the inner conflicts individuals face between their desire for personal fulfillment and the potential cost of their choices. Drawing from Carl Jung's analytical psychology, Faust can be seen as an exemplification of the individuation process an individual journey towards self-discovery and integration of all aspects of the psyche. Faust's longing for enlightenment and his pursuit of knowledge symbolize the psychological drive towards self-awareness and the need to explore the depths of the unconscious. Mephistopheles, on the other hand, represents the darker and repressed aspects of the human psyche, the Jungian shadow. He personifies the temptations, desires, and impulses that individuals often try to deny or suppress. Mephistopheles' seductive nature and ability to entice Faust into a Faustian bargain mirror the way the shadow aspects of our psyche can influence our decision-making and lead us astray. Freudian psychoanalysis can shed light on Mephistopheles as an embodiment of the ID, the primal and instinctual part of the psyche, that seeks pleasure and gratification without considering the consequences. Mephistopheles embodies the pleasure principle, tempting Faust to embrace immediate pleasures and ignore the potential long-term repercussions. The dynamic relationship between Faust and Mephistopheles mirrors the ongoing internal struggle within individuals. This struggle is characterized by the clash between the ego's desire for fulfillment and the shadow's seductive pull towards indulgence and immediate gratification. The pact between Faust and Mephistopheles symbolizes the potential consequences of ignoring or succumbing to the shadow aspects of the psyche. From a humanistic perspective, Faust's journey can be interpreted as an exploration of the tension between self-actualization and self-destruction. Faust's ambition and desire for knowledge exemplify the humanistic drive towards personal growth and the realization of one's potential. However, his alliance with Mephistopheles represents the potential for self-sabotage and the dangers of losing oneself in the pursuit of external desires. As Faust and Mephistopheles' dialogues unfurl, the depths of Faust's longing for enlightenment become evident. I feel deep in my being a thirst for life and knowledge unending. To quench it, never shall I be satisfied, a light which never shines in mortal eye. Profound, impenetrable, eternally beyond. All human search looms in its majesty, and from its depths a voice of warning cries, Man! Do not waste your strength in such pursuits. The deep meaning of Faust lies in its profound exploration of the human quest for knowledge, fulfillment and purpose. Faust symbolizes the relentless human spirit, perpetually seeking greater understanding and experience. Mephistopheles, on the other hand, embodies the temptations and limitations that accompany such pursuits. The Faustian bargain serves as a cautionary tale, urging introspection upon those who tread the perilous paths of ambition and desire. It urges us to reflect on the consequences of our choices and the significance of moral integrity in the face of tantalizing offers. As Goethe's Faust weaves its timeless narrative, it reminds us that the quest for wisdom and meaning is a journey that must be undertaken with caution and discernment. It calls upon humanity to navigate the intricate web of existence, embracing knowledge while maintaining an awareness of our shared vulnerability and responsibility to one another. In the end, Faust imparts a profound message. Let us seek wisdom and fulfillment with a mindful heart, 
for it is in the balance of our aspirations and actions that the true essence of the human experience resides. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, kindly consider subscribing for more to come. Until next time.